Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing video, so let's get cracking. Friends, we are back with the artillery SWX4 Pro. It's time for a filament change. Step one, of course, is to hit settings, and then we want to load, which really we're gonna unload. I'm gonna change this to 50 millimeters and hit unload. Notice it does mention it's gonna take a moment to heat up, so we just click OK. While that happens, I'm gonna switch to some Duramic Pet G. If you look at your filament quite often, you'll find a recommended temperature. It says 240, and it mentions we can do printing speeds between 30 and 70 millimeters per second, and the bed should be 70 to 80 C. So this is always a good place to find what is recommended for the filament you're using. I did not heat my bed, so I have no problem with setting that down. I am going to clip this so that it's easier to get it in. It has now reached a temperature where I can hit unload. So I did have to wait for it to heat up and then hit it. And then here is the filament being pushed out. I'm just holding this so that you can see that it is raising my fingers up by me simply holding it. 50 did not get it so I'll hit unload one more time. And bingo there is our filament removed. So let's clip that off. Take off our old reel. Add our new reel. Feed the filament. Notice it does change from green to red. I want to make sure this is back on here. There we go. I do want to quickly highlight how cool this is for entering the filament. It is super easy to see and super easy to get it in there. Of course now we simply feed the filament into that little hole. Now it's at 200 so I'm going to bump the temperature up to 240. Notice I'm typing 240 right here. I'll wait a moment for that to heat up. I have been impressed with how quick it is right there we're already at 230 and there is 240 so it is really in just seconds now let's do feed again I'm gonna switch to move for a moment 10 millimeter move let's do Z plus and that allows you to see that filament being purged there is the old color back to the load still on 50 and feed and you can see there we are finally getting the white and we're ready for our next 3d print using pet g so we are back in artillery slicer i do want to let you know that i have upgraded to 3.03 of course you can find that via their website you can find their website via my website let's add a file today we are going to do the hl happy crab these are a ton of fun. They print relatively fast. You can stack them on the eyes and claws. Of course, I'll show you that in a minute. Right now, though, what we want to do is we want to swap from PLA to PETG. So I'm going to switch right here with the Artillery X4 PETG. For this project, we're going to move over and start in the print settings. It is currently using a layer height of 0.2. I'm going to switch to 0.3 just because that makes it a tiny bit faster. I'm going to keep the 0.25, I'm going to keep the 4, I'll stay with 5 and I'll stay with 3. And then if we check infill, like I said 5%, I'm going to stay with the defaults. And of course I'm not doing any skirt or brim, I also do not need any support material. If we look at this filament, the default PET G filament, they use 250. I'm going to back that up to 240. I'm going to also put 240 right here. I want my bed to be 70 and my bed to be 70. And then I'm going to click on Save Preset, but I'm going to, instead of having the word copy, I'm going to put my pet G, because I don't want to lose it. I'm also going to go back to the print settings, and I'm going to save this as my pet G as well. Just so I've got these as I experiment with different filament. If you found that several filaments were really, really different, which I have not had that experience, you could actually name these by the filament for when you want to use them. Now if we return to the platter, I'm going to click Slice Now and check it out. The export button does not show up. By simply clicking on this again, I 
all of a sudden could send it to the printer. I absolutely love using the printer's built-in clipper Wi-Fi. Let's upload, print, and send it to the 3D printer. And I had it preheating, so it is already going before I could even get here. Our final result was 17 minutes, which is pretty darn impressive. And here is our cool little crab. Comes off nice and easy, balances just like that, and on the bottom says HL Mod Tech. And one of my favorite parts, as I said, is they balance on each other. How <laughs> cool is that? All right, so let's take a quick peek at the quality. The left one was printed on the Magna Magician Pet G as well. As you can see, the lines do show up and there is a bit of stringing. I am all out of that filament, so I cannot test it with the X4 Pro. I do like how the lower layers of the prints turned out. If you check out the lettering, you can see it is more clear on the X4 Pro. These settings are not perfect, so I will keep working with them. Of course, if you have any tips or tricks you would love to share, you can add them in the comments. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you once again about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a tab about Tinkercad with tons of awesome tutorials. You'll also find the awesome 3D printer page with information about all the printers that I've worked with. Finally, friends, if you look down in the bottom corner, there is a sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about AHL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when a brand new video from me, AHL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.